dry and sister. Oh, watch out! Ugh! The hell? Is that a zoomal? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! What the fuck? Oh, it's gonna be a toxic spanning boss, damn it. Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. Oh boy, I knew it. Oh look, it's the cat. Or I'm actually the one who summoned you all here. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Is this a normal cat? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. What? what? That can't be all. When were you going to? Person. But in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Oh, nice to see you again, Kisara. Uh, how do we say her name? Waggle? Waggle. So you've been working with Miguel all along? Mm -hmm. You know each other then? Yeah, you can say she and I go way back. Though I haven't seen her since we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Just, what are you doing in your little gang anyway? Exactly what Miguel told you. We're trying to uncover the truth of the conspiracy plaguing Menacea and save those caught up in it. Hmm. It's funny how life turns out, though. We used to compete for Miguel's attention, or for you to get picked to join him in the guard. I used to really envy you for that. But at the tables have turned, now you're at odds with him, and I'm the one who gets to help him out. Everyone has to go up sometime, Michael. Huh? Maybe so, but that doesn't mean having to turn your back on who you used to be. You've changed, Kisara. I... I heard about Miguel's plan to assassinate Lord Dohalim. How he ran when it failed. I searched for him to get answers, but... He never showed his face to me. You'd figure if he wasn't guilty, he wouldn't have run away. <laughs> but he did! It's because he's a coward. A coward who betrayed me and Menacea both. After all that, you expect me to just believe it's all some conspiracy and let bygones be bygones? Kisara, settle down. I understand how you're confused, how confused you must be, but... B, how doubtful of your brother. But we're all doing this precisely to keep that dream alive. Please, trust us on this. You've seen what sort of shape Miguel is in. He won't say it, but time's running out for him. Can you put your differences aside and talk to him as siblings again like you used to? Just this once? You're right. Maybe I should. I'm sorry, I've really talked your ears off, haven't I? Must be a lot to take in all at once. You're welcome to rest here today if right. you'd like. Uh... God damn it, I got nothing out. I mean, she's gonna be with us, so a part of me was definitely hoping she would get us. Gilbert's was gonna be jumping in the group here. Guess not. At least not yet, I guess. I was just working as a chef, but something seemed off about the ingredients I was using. 
All I did was ask around about it, and that same night I got attacked by Zoogles. You too, huh? I was working in the palace and spotted a suspicious figure in the pantry. I tried to call out to them, but then someone hit me from behind. It was a serious brush with death. Neither of us would be alive if Miguel hadn't saved us, huh? Sorry to keep imposing on you, Waggle. As far as the rest of the society is concerned, you're an insurgent. Setbacks are inevitable. Are you worried about Kisara? Don't worry, I'm sure she'll understand someday. Yeah, you're right. I'll just have this. <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, I'm not just playing. This is training, honestly. Would you like to stay the night? Yes. Sleep. And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? Feels a little off, but ah, it's fine. I'll manage. I'll give you some more healing. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe, and now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kind of hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess... I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... Necessary, so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right. Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What a 
am I doing? Well, that'd be the second time she's tried to touch him, but didn't do it. Wouldn't hurt him, but he would I probably think be like, "What's going to town on?" Town under the cover of night. Ah, uh, really? You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Sucks that Nikki Zara was sent away. Guess we're waiting on work from the Gaul for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out from the Gaul's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? Here we go. I mean, Kisara's gotta join us at some point before... Well, I'm sure Dovalian will probably end up joining us. It was the same as the last chapter. Or, well, last place. I know he said it's necessary, but... Are we sure Miguel's plan is a good idea? I mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Miguel is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <gasps> not that owls are any better. What? Hmm? I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! What do you have against Poodle pretty anyway? pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Shion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way, the more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! I don't know what you have against Hoodle in the first place. What the hell, Wa? Huh? There's literally nothing wrong with Hoodle to begin with. All oh, right, I gotta return back. I'm not doing it like this. I can still go back to Kislodi and well, these places. What the fuck is in the? Oh yeah, I know. Exhaustion. Oh. How quiet 
am I to see you? Why? What's up? I have something to give to give to. Uh, I just have something to give to Kisara. Hmm. But she's a little hard to read, so if you wouldn't mind, um. Hmm. Oh, right. Because you'd have to approach the palace to see her. Sure. We'll get it to her somehow. Thanks. I really appreciate it. As for the big plan, just wait for Zara. She'll deliver a message when it's right. time. Got it. We'll make sure to prepare in the meantime. Sorry to keep adding to your plate. Is that a side quest or a main thing? We've reached our destination. Okay, it's a main thing. Good. There you are. You people again. Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? <laughs> What makes you think I won't? Because Miguel trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Miguel's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. I'm just Miguel. Okay. Why is that on the ground now? It's good to be back in familiar territory. Three AM, I've never recorded this late. Wow. Well, we'll come running to oh, the scene. It's Zare. Hold on. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. Happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. We're definitely reaching the end of this part. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Of like this part of the game but like for the boss before it, which I guess still would be okay. Oh, what Take dope. position, step forward. My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Hold! Is that McGall, the traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? 
Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a Danon medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. I do not have good feeling about what is behind the door. It's probably a bunch of lies. In death. Yeah. Death it is. Why do I feel like Miguel is probably going to die to show Dolhoim something? Holy shit. What the fuck? This isn't what I expected. I guess we're really- I should warn you. What lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care, and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara, let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. <laughs> Now about that. See, this is pretty similar to her brothers with the red there. I like this one. Sunglasses, please. It should look nice with that. Really? The glasses have to be a part of that change to the color? I should be a lot like her brother with these glasses. See what I like. Or maybe... You gotta be different sometimes, you know? I don't know. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? Ever since my first job as a guardsman, our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around and you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, 
Our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real heart of darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks, the still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under his lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Okay, maybe uh, I think I do prefer this one. So that's what we'll keep it in. Um... Oh, she's got a lot of points. Uh... Charging enemy stomp by boost attack. So they mean like... I think I know what they mean. Favorite meals code. training grounds for that. Actually, if I think about it, I think what I'm gonna do is do all the level grinding here, and then when I'm done with the level grinding, go to the training grounds and see what I can do. Now, a part of me wants to... I'm gonna see something just right quick. So how does she stand around? Well, that walk does make sense if she would be in armor normally. She's got to get her stuff up. Alvin practically has a lot of his stuff up already. I'm so. I'll ha I'll, I think I will definitely have Wa finished up by all the level when the, all the level grinding is done. So we're just gonna see what we can do with this. I don't think I'll need Alvin for anything. Monsters in here. It's teeming with Zoogles. Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? 
All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough.